Hi, this is David Yak, and in this video, we're going to look at how you can make yourself more productive in Microsoft Teams using Power Automate. I'm going to create a flow with the selected message in Microsoft Teams and push that into Microsoft To Do. We'll see how to do that and what you need to be aware of when you're building flows like this for personal productivity. I'm over here in the Microsoft Teams app. I happen to be in the browser just because it's convenient, but this works in the downloaded Windows application as well. I've created a team, and this just happens to be a simple demo team, but I wanted to show you what I'm talking about before I build it. You'll notice on this message there's a little dot dot dot, and you can come down here and you can go to more actions and you can run these. Now what's interesting is this can be a flow that you can run and you can pick up data from your context of the message as well as data that you input when you run the flow. Now this is really helpful because a lot of times in Teams, you end up with these conversations. People talk about a lot of stuff, and somewhere in there you agree to do something. And if you don't get it onto your to-do list, you forget about it. So what we're going to do is build a real simple flow that allows to show up on here as add to-do item, and we'll push that item into Microsoft to-do. Okay, so let's switch over to the flow portal and get started building this out. Now the first thing I want to point out is that you have to be in the default environment for it to show up on that context list. So if you build a flow in custom environment called Dave or whatever, it's just going to let you build it, but it's not going to ever show up in the Teams context menu. So that's an unfortunate thing today, but it is how it is. So you'll notice I'm in an environment called Personal Productivity which is just my default environment renamed. So make sure that you're building this in the default environment. One way to ensure that you're doing that is you can actually start from the Teams app. So if you have the Power Automate app installed in Teams and you build the flow from there, it's automatically gonna create it in your default environment in your organization. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a new flow. We're gonna create an instant from blank. Now I wanna make sure to give it a good name because this is what's gonna show up in the context menu. So we'll just call it add to do. And I'm going to select the for a selected message in the Microsoft Teams connector. Now what I want to do is go ahead and allow the user or myself to be able to give a title, a custom title to the to do that I'm going to add in case the message itself wasn't appropriate for the title of the to do task, or maybe I wouldn't remember it. So what I'm going to do is come in here and click create adaptive cards. This allows you to use adaptive cards as the way to describe what you want to get as input. This is kind of like parameters that you would have on a button flow, but it's described using an adaptive card. If you haven't built these, they're just kind of a fancy way of marking up and describing what input fields and display fields that you want to have, and it's independent of how it's going to be rendered. In this case, it's going to be rendered in the Teams app. And you're seeing a, a default one here that's tell us about yourself. Now, I don't want to use this at all, so I'm going to actually go ahead and click New Card. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Blank because I just want to start with an empty canvas. Okay, I'm going to come over here in the Card Elements. These are all the different things that you can use. We're going to keep this real simple because I really want to focus on the core concept. You can kind of dive into adaptive cards on your own time a little bit further. Maybe we'll do another video on that. But I'm going to come up here, grab the input text, drop it on the area I want it. I'm going to come over here and give it an ID. I'm going to, this is how I'm going to refer to it, and we'll just call this title. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and save the card. And so now we've set the stage, and you'll actually see this when we go run the flow from the context of the team message. It'll pop up a dialog box. And in fact, in the advanced options, you'll see that you can actually control the height and the width of that if you're so inclined. Now you could do some fancy stuff. For example, in my real one that I use, I actually check if the title's there. If it's not, then I take the message text and use that as the title. But in the interest of time, we're going to simply go ahead and jump ahead and go ahead and add a reference to creating the to-do item. We're going to come down and get the to-do connector. We're going to create a to-do list item. So we're going to add a to-do. Now I've already created a list in Microsoft to-do that I'm going to add these to. So you'll notice that this comes in. We pick a to-do list. I'll pick my team's to-dos. We want the subject. Now this is where I could do the conditional, but I'm going to come down here and you'll see that on the card, that title input text field I have is showing up here and I can go ahead and bind to that real easily on there. The other thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pick the current, set this to be due today because I want to make sure that it gets my attention and I can then reallocate it to when I really want it to do. You could also prompt for a due date on the adaptive card. That would be another good field to add on there if you wanted to. 
but I like to just make them do today so I have to look at them and, and kind of triage them. And I'm just gonna simply give it UTC now, but you could calculate any date, maybe you want them to do two days from now or take the date on there. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some text from it. One of the nice things they do, because Teams messages can be rich text, is they have a plain text message content that you can drop in there. And you can do other things. For example, you can go ahead and add in a link to the message using the link to the message, display name of who sent the original message. That comes in the originating user's display name. So you don't even have to go bother with the Office 365 connector to look up a user that sent it. This gives you some context. So you can kind of fill this out. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. And now that it's saved, we're gonna go ahead and jump back over to our Teams client, go ahead and refresh it. Okay, we're back in the Teams client. We're gonna come over to the message, go to more actions, and we'll notice that our add to do has showed up on the list and we'll go ahead and click it. And we can tell that it's Power Automate by the icon that shows up on there. We'll go ahead and click it. We'll get our dialogue title that we want in it and submit it. And that will cause our flow to go ahead and run in the background and add our item to our to-do list. Now let's jump back over to our to-do and there we have our task that's shown up on our list and we've successfully built a context sensitive message flow that we can really make ourselves more productive or if nothing else, keep us getting stuff that we say we're gonna get done, done. So that's it for this short video. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you saw, click like and subscribe and join us for future videos on our channel.